hey guys um so today we're doing something very very different as you can see i have a whole hat kit let me put i have a whole kit as i am preparing to do a whole mining tour so did this the last time and now i'm doing it again so right now we're about to do a mine tour which is in Cullinan, pretoria south africa did you know where the biggest diamond in the world came from <laughs> let me tell you in south africa so come with me let's enjoy a day where we actually go and learn where the biggest diamond in the world came from and what else has happened in the specific mine because there's a lot and lot and lot of great facts that have happened right here in the Cullinan mine so join me as i start this journey and take you through let's learn one or two things Today we are in Cullinan Mine. I'm gonna do what I'm here. Mm -hmm. This one was found in 1905. Yes. And this is a copy. Oh my god. Yes. How many carats is this? It's 3106 carats. After one. the presentation, we went around the surrounding area where the mine is located. All these properties or buildings that you see around here are actually owned by the mine. The mine actually leases out these buildings to the public and you have restaurants, jewelry stores, ice cream uh, vendors. You have a couple of places here, but as you can see, it's quite quiet after the pandemic. Things did change drastically. They don't open on a day to day basis. They open uh, of the week where it gets busy, but it no longer operates on a day to day basis. Before the pandemic, things were different. Here's another interesting fact about the Cullinan mine. These five extraordinary rare blue diamonds that you see right here were recovered all within one week's production, ranging between 25 carat and 9 carat, totaling to 85.6 carat in total. They were recovered in September 2019 and were later sold for 40 million US dollars. Cullinan Mine still mines rare blue diamonds till today. Here's the big one that you saw earlier on the Cullinan Diamond. This one. It was cut into nine big ones. And into this six is the ones. nine ones that were cut into. And then the one in the middle is the jewelry. Those are the 96 smaller ones. That the 96 made. smaller ones that were made. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. The tailor button number three over here also found here at the mine as well. Yeah, it was bought by Richard Burton for Elizabeth Taylor. When the American singer. This is Elizabeth Taylor. Is that? <laughs> she's, she's too much. That's what she would have taken the time of life. Yeah, this Elizabeth Taylor was really something. Everything was just behind her. Here the mine. This one, when, when it was found, it was believed to be part of the Cullinan diamond. Uh huh. If so, but they couldn't prove it because they couldn't, they couldn't prove it because this one was already cut and polished when they found the Yonka diamond over here. Uh -huh. But the piece from that still hang around. They say one fool's gold. Also found here at the mine. When this one was found, they believed that it was gold. 
because of the shine in it. Oh yes. But only find that it's not really gold. <laughs> it's just a, yeah, so that a colored diamond. It's called pyrite or pyrite. Pyrite, okay. Yeah. So it's like a colored diamond. It's, it's not necessarily a white diamond. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't have. What we have over there is the average production for the day. Okay. That's what they work for every day. So over there we have 4,500 carats. Uh -huh. To get that, they had to like bring up like 11 tons of rocks just to get that. Wow. So over there it's a mixture of 80% industrial diamond and 3% gem quality diamond. They're all mixed together. Two mixed together. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And then over here we have, we have the famous diamond. Most that we have over here, they're from India. Oh, okay. Because India was the first to discover diamonds. Uh -huh. Brazil was number two. South Africa was number three. In to Spain. discover the biggest. Yes. Uh -huh. so have the yellow one over here is called the the yellow diamond. This yellow diamond was not found in the Cullinan mine, but it was found in Kimberley. There's an interesting story on how this diamond was found. It was found by a young boy who didn't know it was a diamond. He thought he found a rock and he started playing with these rocks. And a farmer from a distance actually spotted the sparkle of the specific rock. He then approached the family and the boy to ask if he could buy the rock from them. The family declined and said they would give him the rock though, but they would not sell it to him. The farmer then took the rock and got it to be evaluated and tested. It was then later found and proven that it was actually a yellow diamond. It was once owned by Shah of Iran who was forced into exile. Marie Antoinette who was beheaded. <laughs> and the last owner, Henry Winston, he gave it away to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. That's where the real one is. Uh -huh. yeah. so, so because the mine, they don't produce enough in the diamonds, so they make their own. These are made in the factory, they put carbon under pressure to make them. So this is what you call lab created diamonds? Yes. So this one they can also be used well for polishing, for cutting. So only diamond can cut another diamond, and only diamond can polish another diamond. But diamond, uh huh. Then over here we have only have the brown one over there, brown kimberlite, the grey in the middle, and the black kimberlite. So the brown one and the black, they're very rich. Is where they find most diamonds. The grey camelite, mm -hmm. not so much diamonds in it. So the grey camelite and the brow, they're very soft. Uh huh. They're more like clay to remove diamonds from them, they put them in water. They easily break and release those diamonds. But the black one is very hard. They use bro breakers and crushers to remove diamonds from the one over here. Uh huh. But they sometimes use ferro silicone powder mixed with water just to fold the black one to break. If not, it's going to take longer to crush the black one. Uh -huh. The blue is from Tanzania, we don't have it here. The, the blue candlelight. Uh -huh. okay. All of this land is 3,000 hectares. Okay. Wow. So can you guess where are we? No. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Let's see if we can see. Okay, in the entrance maybe. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big. How do you navigate it the whole day? I know, right? Uh huh, so which one? Where are we? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let me give you a clue. Over here is the church. Oh, so I guess we are. I don't know. So we came from here, this was the church, and then we went all the way. I can't remember now. Are we here? Where? Here. Here. Uh huh. Yes, correct. Ah, <laughs> got it. So we are there. Okay. So over here we have shaft number one. Mm -hmm. That's for the rocks only. It has four containers. They go underground. They fill them with the rocks and they bring them up. Uh huh. They up here, they, they drop them here on the conveyor belt and they go all the way to the new plant to be processed over here. When the workers go underground, today they use shaft number three. 
which is here. And shelf number two, it fell into the hole. Uh -huh. It was here. Show you. Today, this area is the big hole. Here's shelf number two. Mm -hmm. When the hole got bigger, shelf two, it collapsed inside. Mm -hmm. When it collapsed inside, they built shelf number three, which is here. So three is replacing two for the workers, materials, and other things. And the buildings you see over here, the they call mm -hmm. so This is how it looks like inside the volcanic pipe. When they started in the beginning, the open pit at the top there, 189 meter, they were using picks and shovels to dig. Mm -hmm. And to dig deeper holes going down, they used dynamites and machines. So from the top, mining all the way to 400 meter deep, they came across this thick rock. Uh -huh. So the gabo is this one right here. So this gabo rock, it has no diamonds in it. This one. That one. So that's like no gold. It's a, it's a, yeah. a waste of time. Throw that one away. So when they got here, they believe that there were no, there were no more diamonds anymore. So instead of stop, stopping mining, they drove in this side to test and see if they can find diamonds below the cabro and they found diamonds below. But when they drove in the cabro, it did fall in on the other side, but no one was injured when this one collapsed. Uh -huh. So the cabro left, it's just the, there is a roof. From the roof to the top is 400 meter deep. They're now mining below the cabro at the level of 800 meters inside the pipe. They have the brown camber light, the grey in the middle, and the black camber light. There are tunnels that goes in the pipe where they are mining. So with the tunnels, if you see the bottom picture over here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what the tunnels are falling in, they first put this at the top. Mm -hmm. And then they throw in the roof bolts to stabilize as we from the tunnel in the cover over. It's a mixture of cement and sand to avoid water from coming in the tunnels. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh. So if you look around, you can learn already. Then, uh-huh. Put rocks. That's the what they used to use. Uh-huh. But today they use conveyor belt. Uh-huh. Shelf number one, all the way to the other side, to the plant. To the plant. So this is like the model. I'm just trying not to get her. <laughs> in fresh air underground. underground yes and the green one that's for drinking water so that's for drinking water yes. okay the green one up here that's for compressed air for the drill machine like that one which one for the drill machine and the tube light that's for intercontinental water yes yeah. uh -huh. so to extend tunnels underground they use explosives to extend tunnels a bit further Oh, and this one. This is the bigger than the one in Kimberley. Yes. Wow. But it's done man-made man and machine. Man-made and machine. Versus the one in Kimberley, it's only just man-made. Oh, in real life. And it's still going down. Down, down, down. Oh, down. <laughs> My God, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Right there. Underneath there. Oh my god. You see that one there. Small one. That's why it's dangerous. Because to think that if you're gonna be going right inside, like literally right inside there, that's 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 a lot. That is dangerous. Right down? Do you see where the where the sun is? That that shape of the sun is it's like this. Uh-huh. The, oh, right the there in the bottom. There are whitish rocks. Oh, yes, on the top. That's I where see. they found that, that, that big one. Right there in the top on the yes. whitish part. Uh, so maybe the other one is still there as well. Maybe the. You know, <laughs> so, so it's looking at us and hey, what are you finding me? I'm looking, I'm coming. <laughs> it's still there. Oh my god. So they found yeah, it so there. Yeah, so we're kind of so there, shining, you know, in the sunlight. So, so yeah. If you look straight, there's a building close to the edge there. Uh huh. Before that, that, that building, so a shaft two used to be, but just collapsed. Ah, inside. but nobody was there. In nobody that. was there. Okay. And the same building you see over there uh -huh. is where workers used to stay back in the days. 
only men were allowed to stay there. Uh, they were locked up and only allowed to go home once a year. Wow, Christmas that's pure slavery. And then no one, no one was allowed to visit them. But before that, they leave the mine, they were they would search their mouth, their nose, their ears, their hair. They even make make them drink castor oil in case someone tried to swallow to swallow the diamond. It's for the very strict thing there. Today they're not no longer plants anymore. The workers they stay outside the mine, around the area. Wherever they want to stay. Yes. It's all yeah. by choice. Those are two words when they come. Uh -huh. Those are two blocks. They come from shop number one. So they call that place a stockpile. So they store the timber rocks. Uh huh. Yes. When one is not working, they get the rocks from there, stockpile. Or when they need extra rocks, they get them from there, stockpile. The other, side. the other side this will detect oh my god it's so small this thing will detect all the rocks moving there wow so small of the side that is the hole right there Guys, my hair is looking like a whole mess. I put this spray today, but wow, it's really not giving. So the tour mine is finished. It's done and dusted. Now we're going to explore a little bit of the hotel premium. I think there's a little bit of a connection there. As I was planning the mine tour and trying to learn more about the mine and the diamonds that the mine does produce, being the mine that has produced the biggest diamond in the world, I had to stay overnight in the Cullinan Premium Hotel. I wanted to also understand what the connection was between the two, if there was any connection. The only way for me to find out was for me to spend the night. So straight after doing the mine tour, I went across and checked in into the hotel. What I did find out was a gentleman by the name of William. William was the first general manager of the mine and he was also part of the discovery of the biggest diamond in the world that was ever found till today. So he held a party when the diamond was found as a celebration at the hotel, which is the premium hotel. He took the diamond with him to the party and everyone at the party held the diamond for a short while. The diamond was later called the Cullinan Diamond and was presented to the British royal family and the two largest diamonds cut from the stone are now in the British crown jewels. So, another interesting thing that I found about the hotel was before the war, the hotel, especially its bar area, was always enjoyed by the local miners. It was also the favorite destination of choice for meeting with mine officials for meetings. And some of those mine officials would also spend the night at the hotel. As you can see, the hotel still has this, the look and feel of back in history. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and have learned one or two things about the rich history of South Africa. If you ever find yourself in South Africa or you are in South Africa, I have linked right below some links for you to read reading if you want to learn more about the mine and also the link to the hotel. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch till the end and don't forget to like, subscribe, share and leave your comments below and let me know and let's have a whole conversation about diamonds, a girl's best friend.